Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to see how we can get the multiple service status from the multiple remote computer. Last time we had made a video to get the service status from multiple computer, but that time we had used only the one server. This time we are going to use the multiple services on multiple computer. So uh, we have a simple script here. You can see we are getting the computer name here from this text file. Uh, we have three computers, server one, two, and three. Okay. Uh, two and three and let me show you the file one two three okay so what this script do it is invoking the command get hyphen service a spooler and plug and play okay these two services we are playing with if you want to add the multiple services you just have to add the comma and add the service okay and here we are giving the uh, logic here where the service uh, status is equal to stop then start the service okay so first check the service it is in the stop mode so uh, it will start the service then. okay so let me run this and it have done okay so uh, let me refresh this okay it is started okay now we will see the another script so here it is simple script no output right but if you want to output uh, before running the script what was the status of the services and after running the script what is the status of the services okay so that time we will use this service uh, this script okay so it is again the same but we have some uh, funky uh, messages here okay to give the timestamp and all so uh, here we are using the same command like getting the server name from this file here we have used timestamp like the variable time before and we are using the gate date okay and here again uh, at the bottom we have again used the variable time after and is equal to gate date so whenever uh, this script will reach here it will take another new timing and then it will uh, do the do their job okay so what it is doing we are using the for each statement here for server and we we have used two commands here the first command to get the service status and the second command to start or stop services so according to your need you have to click here now our services are running right here so we have to stop the service so it is stop services and after that again we have used the new timestamp here okay and we will uh, get the status of the service so we have to check right whether that uh, service is started stopped whatever it is okay so here we have given the command stop the services so let me run this script if i run this script see it is giving me service status at this time 135 29 and 135 32 so after three milliseconds because we have only three computers it is uh, finishing very quickly okay so earlier the service status was uh, running okay and after the running script the service status at 135 32 millisecond it is stopped because we had given the stopped status okay so suppose now here if i write start and if i again run the script now see now the stop status is in the earlier time zone and running status in, in the later time zone. And you can see here the services are running according to the new status also. So let me stop again. And let me run this. Now the services are running and after running the script it is stopped. Okay. So let's verify here see it is stopped it is stopped so you can use this script and if you have any doubt you can just let me know into the comment box and i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video